Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today I have the Easy Crochet Shells. Now this is a pattern that already exists but I've changed the material and it also changes the number of shells to go all the way across. The more information link of this video you're going to find this particular pattern the way that it's written. So in just a few seconds from now I'm going to be playing you the original video that will make this. So you're gonna start off in the point and then you're gonna work your way out. The difference is is that I'm gonna suggest for this one here is Peyton's Grace. You're gonna need a total of six balls in order to complete the size. Also a four millimeter size G crochet hook in order to play. Now this is mercerized cotton. Let's talk a lot, little bit about that next. So my reason for making this shot is that it's 100% cotton. So for those that are in the south that like to glow, they say glow, um, you can use this kind of yarn because cotton is really great for that. So it keeps you warm but it also keeps you cool. So this is 100% mercerized cotton. So this is more of a fashion cotton. So this is not cotton that you would use for your dishes. This is a higher grade and because it's Peyton's Grace um, that you can expect that from this particular brand. So you're gonna need a total of six of these balls. Now if you'd like to make this bigger you just gotta buy some more balls in order to expand it even further out. So it's a really great project in order to do. I found it quite mindless sitting in front of the TV. I almost considered calling this the TV shell because that's what I did. So I was binge watching on Netflix while doing this. So without further ado I'm going to play the other tutorial now and it'll exactly make this but just substitute for Peyton's Grace 4 millimeter size G crochet hook if you'd like to make this particular sample. So let's begin today. I am using a 5 millimeter size H crochet hook today and let's begin. We're going to chain 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and five and fifth chain from the hook which is the starting I want you to place in one double crochet. And that will count as your first double crochet, your chain one space and your last double crochet. So this is the very point of your shawl. Let's turn it and let's do row number two. So let's get yourself started on row number two. We're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet. You're going to notice that the double crochet is holding on to this existing one. That's important to know because in the next one we're gonna do the shells. The shells are always uh, nine double crochets and then the next one over we're going to place in the next double crochet there. So in order to keep it stable. So let's put in nine double crochets right into the space. So let's count those set together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's a lot in there, right? So because it's shifting over like this you wanna push, pull it back Okay, and you wanna get really kinda close to that and just double crochet right into a chain. Now if it's not the second one over I wouldn't worry about it too much but that's exactly what it needs to look like when you're done this row. So let's now move up to row number three. So as we turn our work into row number three, three, five, seven, nine, and etc., they'll always be the setup rows because the shells will appear in the rows um, that will attach to those. So let's begin a setup row for doing shells in the next row after that. So we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, that's your first double crochet and the fourth is a chain one space. And in the very first one where it comes out of, that's where you're going to double crochet. Now when you're going up over top of these shells they're always gonna be the same thing, gonna be chaining five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And because this is just row number three there's not much else to do so you're gonna come into the very last turning chain and you're going to double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And you'll notice that just sits loosely kind of over top. So let's turn to work and do row number four. So because this is an even number we're now going to do shell work. Let's begin that next. So as we progress to number four we're gonna chain up three which is part of that first, first one and then these spaces that you worked here is your next shell. So there's never a shell in this long space. It's always in these little ones here. And so now there's gonna be two shells. So there's gonna be nine double crochets. So let's count those out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, and 9. And now once you have your 9 in, you're gonna come to the middle one, okay? So it's the um, fifth one over. So you can either count it or you can just look and say, okay, that's the middle one. So I'm gonna say this is the middle one. I'm looking at it. So it's the fifth one over and what you're going to do is that you're going to single crochet into that one and you're gonna trap this chain right over top of it so it holds it into position. See? Isn't that neat? And now you're going to begin the next shell which is gonna be in the space which is the final for row number four. So you're gonna just immediately start, reach over and put in nine double crochets. This is number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And as soon as you get that done, just kind of push them over a bit to get some chain space there and just double crochet into the chain. That holds it nice and stable for you. And let's begin then row number five. So turning our work, we're going to create those long chains again. So to do number five, you're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one space. So a chaining four and in the same one, you're going to double crochet. Now you're going up over top of a shell. Do you remember how many that you got a chain? It's five. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. And right where you did the single crochet before is where you're going to place in the next um, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in there. So it's like a V stitch. So every time you're putting in these kind of V-stitch looks, one in here and here, that's where the next shell is gonna be in the next layer. So chaining five to go up over top of the next shell and then just on that last one here, you're going to double crochet, chain one and double crochet. So let's turn to work. Are you starting to understand this pattern? It's a really quite easy one. So let's begin. We're going to chain three and that sits on top of this first one and now there's gonna be nine in that space, the next one. So let's count it out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now you're gonna come to the fifth one over but if you're confident and you can just look to where you think it is, just double or single crochet into the top of that one, trapping that chain space right up over top and it will hold it and then begin again. So your next shell is in the next V stitch. So there's gonna be nine. So you just reach over and start double crocheting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then you look at this next chain space. So you wanna trap that. So going into the middle one. So it's the fifth one over. Single crochet to trap it, that chain, and then do your last one. So do you see the growth on this? It's really easy. There's a new shell um, pretty much added to every time there is a shell and the framework which um, is the large chains that we have to put in, it really kind of holds it and gets it ready so that you can do that in the next row. So that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And just shift it over a little bit just to access more chain and then just double crochet right into the chain to stabilize it. So I'm gonna show you one more row. See how it's growing? So let's turn our work. So let me show you one more repeat. And so you're gonna chain four counts as your first double crochet, chain one space, double crochet in the same one. You chain five, so one, two, three, four, five. And now you come to the next single crochet which is all the way past the shell and you're gonna double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then chain five again, one, two, three, four, five. And then double crochet chain one, double crochet into the next one. Next uh, single crochet 
and then five again because you're not done. So one, two, three, four, five and then just come into your very last one and put in a double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. You're going to turn your work. Okay, so you got how many shells are you gonna have this time? So it's the same thing as you already know. So you're gonna chain up three and there will be nine in the first one and then you'll single crochet down into this one and then nine into the next one, single crochet in, nine into the next one, single crochet in and then the final space there will be nine and then you just shift it over and just double crochet into the chain itself. So it's a very easy repeat pattern to be able to do this. I uh, Hopefully that you enjoy and this is the Fawning Over Fans Crochet Shawl with our friends at Yarnspirations.com. We'll see you.